How you guys doing? Locks and load here. Alright guys, I got somewhat of an educational video for you guys. Today's video is, what is an EDC kit? And so what I'm going to be breaking down is, what an EDC kit is and certain things that you should look for to putting in your EDC kit. So starting off, EDC stands for Everyday Carry. EDC is this type of stuff that goes in your pockets or on your person every day you leave the house. The things that you need to get through the day every day. So, car keys. You can't drive without your car keys. You know, it gets bright outside so you need some shades. You need your wallet because it has all your credit card information, your licenses, and all the other stuff that you keep in there. You know, a lighter if you smoke or not, or if you work with your hands and you need to use it for whatever. These are some of the things that go into an EDC kit. These are the things that we use every day on a daily basis. So, when you are setting up your EDC kit, you need to sit down and look at what kind of task am I trying to accomplish with my EDC kit? Is my kit built for a specific reason? I.e., if I'm a medical professional, then I'm going to want to have some kind of medical gear in my EDC kit. Whereas, let's say I'm an accountant, I don't need medical gear. I might need pens and papers and uh, other organization devices. So you have to look at what you are asking or needing from your EDC kit when you set it up. So I'm just gonna go through the basis of this is, I'm, all of this stuff here is some of my EDC kits. And it doesn't all go with me at uh, one time. Sometimes I swap them out. But I'm just going to give you guys a quick run through of what a typical EDC kit will consist of. So we got all our stuff here. Normally most people drive so you got your keys. You're going to want you know, something to cover your eyes. You know, Like I said your wallet. If you are someone who is in accounting, uh, does with a lot of numbers or has to remember a lot of things, then you probably want to might add to your kit a pen and a nice little organization pad something to keep your notes in to keep your pens in any kind of uh, cards uh, notes letters etc etc you know you might want to also keep some paper on you at all times just in case you know I know me I have a hard time remembering things so sometimes I have to write them down or jot them down I don't have it on the table because I'm using it to record, but your phone. Your phone is something that you use every day and it goes with you all the time. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my dog. Hey, so, like I said, if you smoke, you're going to want to have a lighter with you. I prefer that to have some kind of light. Some kind of light to shine if I have to work with something or if it's nighttime and I need to see, I prefer to have a nice small light. There are a number of different lights. This is one I prefer because I can put in my keys and it you know, saves space in my pockets and it stays right there on the keys. It's not heavy, it doesn't weigh them down. Some people like pin lights, something that can slip in your pocket like a pin. Some people prefer you know, bigger flashlights and they'll just carry a pouch to put that flashlight in on their belt. Again, personal preference, your kit is set up for you. Next, sometimes if I'm really going out and I'm working around the house or with my hands, you know, I'll take a nice multi-tool. There are a number of things you use multi-tools for. Especially me, I like to tinker around, take things apart, put them back together, you know, work with my hands, general household stuff. So having this multi-tool around something I can use for a flathead or to open something or cut something or to hold and all that jazz, a nice multi-tool for me goes really handy for my EDC kit. Um, what else? Knife. Pocket knives. Me, I think every EDC kit should have at least one pocket knife. There's a number of things you can use a pocket knife for. It doesn't have to just be cutting. Uh, it just uses is really up to you what you can imagine, what you can and can't do with your pocket knife. Uh, I don't say go out and get like a hundred something dollar you know, knife. Get something that 
is of good quality, but at the same time, if you lost it, you know, you're not going to be so butthurt about it. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. What I think everyone should have, maybe not on the person, but somewhere nearby in their car, uh, in a backpack, in the house, if you're close enough, or somewhere, is some kind of medical kit. Something, if you were to get hurt, cut, stab, shot, all that, something to help, you know, stop the bleeding, cover the wound, and save yourself until the real medical professionals can get there. So this is mine. I have two tourniquets in my medical pouch. Got gloves, got some gauze, and, you know, some other stuff in here. This is not something, this is, obviously this is too big to really carry, but there are smaller medical pouches that you can slip into a cargo pocket if you have one. And so, what pe a lot of people do, especially if they're going to dangerous areas or they're going shooting or whatnot, they'll take a medical pouch and put it in their cargo pocket. So if anything happens, they can treat themselves right then and there with that medical gear they have. All right, so next to the fun stuff the guns the EDC gear is me <laughs> incomplete without some kind of firearm because the firearm is the basically in my eyes the meat and potatoes of your e EDC kit you know I can live without pen and paper or a multi-tool or a lighter or a flashlight but you know your firearm is the one thing that's really gonna you know get you home at the end of the day if something happens so, when you're setting up your EDC kit, you're going to want to take stock of what kind of firearm you're carrying, the size, the weight, all that. So, I carry the Springfield XD45, and I also carry a spare mag with me. So, you're going to want to take that in consideration when you're carrying the, uh, carrying this firearm so so to speak because you don't want to put anything else in the pocket that you were carrying your spare mag if you put this in your front left pocket nothing else goes in that front left pocket except this magazine so if you had to you fired your six rounds empty mag slide locks back you drop that mag and you need to reach for a fresh magazine you don't want to reach in your pocket and pull out a lighter reach in your pocket multi-tool reach in your pocket car keys. You want to reach in there, bam, magazine, good to go. And same if you're you know, carrying smaller pistol. If you're carrying in your a pocket pistol, nothing else goes in that pocket but this pistol. You carry a spare mag like I do, again, nothing goes in that pocket. So that right there already eliminates two of your pockets. So when you're setting up your EDC kit, you need to work around your gun. So knowing that already, hey, both I have two pockets filled up. Next thing you know, you have to reevaluate your EDC kit. Front right pocket pistol, front left pocket magazine, back right rear pocket wallet. You know, I got your car keys on my hip. So that leaves me with one pocket open. And so I have to figure out what is important enough to go in that one last pocket that I need with me for my everyday carry. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick gist of what an EDC kit is and what goes into it. Again, like I said, you no. Know, after video, sit down, look at your kit, look at what you do every day, the things that you need to accomplish whatever it is you do every day you know if you need a multi-tool then you need to start thinking what's the best way I can carry a multi-tool on my person every day and save the most amount of space and weight so it's not a burden to carry every day you know again with your guns what kind of gun am I carrying is it a pocket gun or is it something I carry in the waistband is it a single stack if it is, I might need to carry a spare mag. If it's a double stack, then I might not need to carry a spare mag. 
you know, if I have a pocket knife, you know, what else is going into that same pocket as that pocket knife? Am I going to have a pocket full of junk? Or am I going to have a pocket full of things that is actually useful to me? And these are the things you need to think about when you're making your EDC kit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found this educational and I hope you learned something. Uh, I like the video if you enjoyed it. You know, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, leave a comment box down below uh, if you think I'm missing something in this kit or you think something should be added to an EDC kit that I did not mention in this video please leave it down in the comment box below I would love to hear your input but as always guys stay safe locks and load out